Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy, Nick from Run the Float Market. Now, I just wanted to go on the record and say, we haven't done a Team of the Week investing video in a while. I decided that the videos were good, but I just don't know how much, like, they were complex because I was doing them sometimes for weeks that just didn't have great Team of the Week. So, I'm going to be doing a Team of the Week investing video for every Team of the Week in the future that has a good Team of the Week. And this one is a pretty good Team of the Week investing-wise, and that's why you're seeing me here uh, making this video, and I will be talking about some players. So, if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you guys smash a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and let me know down in the comments below. Who is your favorite player from this team of the week? If you if you have a favorite in this team of the week, who's it going to be? Who are you going to be using in the weekend league? Who are you going to be investing in? Why do you like him as an investment? What, how was he in the weekend league if you used him already and you're watching this video, right? So let's get into it. If you're new to team of the week investing videos, we start from the bottom right of the bench. We move all the way over and then we move into the starting 11 because we talk about the relevance of all of them and maybe picking one up and putting them in your club. So first of all, this guy not really looking at. Decent card, but just not looking at him. This dude as well not really looking at as well there's no significance there this guy looks like actually like a pretty good card but these three are just your your general examples of discard informs uh this dude i'm not really looking at at all this dude is actually a decent silver now it depends where he plays he plays in the league one uh but he is uh he, he is uh from northern ireland so i don't know links wise that's not going to do you much there this guy is an interesting card but realistically it's it's not going to move anywhere this guy it could be a shout uh, if you want to invest for Dutch Icon SBCs, if you want to pick one up and put him in your club, I'm sure he is close to discard. If he's not discard, wait for him tomorrow uh, in terms of, of, of picking him up for discard. This card, Theo Walcott, guys, this card is not in packs. Uh, it was in Team of the Week guaranteed packs, but it's currently not actually um, like available for purchase because... Uh, there was only because his once the watch is in packs, so there's no investing in this. But I will speak on his once the watch. His once the watch is very low because it was very invested. It's only like 65k. You're looking at 93 shoot, 93 pace, 83 shooting, 78 passing, 85 dribbling. You know, three star, three star is not the best, but he's English uh, and he's a winger in the prem. And these stats are actually freaking amazing. Like I might use him as a super sub because he looks so so freaking sick. And I want to give him a try. So I would say anybody who who's looking at Theo Walcott, pick up his once the watch card because it's so cheap right now. And I don't know if it's ever going to stay at the 60k range. I think from now on for his games and stuff, he's going to start to be 80, 90, 100k before the games because you need to look at it like, okay, if Theo Walcott gets one more inform, 85 rated, 95 pace, 85 shooting, high 80s in the dribbling, it's going to be such a good card that that once the watch is just going to jump so high if he ever does well so keep your eye on that boys for sure then we have um ronnie lopez don't really know much about this guy he's playing in the league on not really too interested in him but he does have amazing dribbling stats so that's just something that interesting that i am looking at uh next is the fabian orellana or or orellana card oh, i don't guys don't kill me for these pronunciations please don't do that don't be that guy this guy looks decent if he was a cam he would be a pretty good card he's playing in the la liga so Nothing too special there. This guy, Jardel, I actually really like him, guys, because he's the cheapest 83 rated on the game right now, and he's Brazilian, which is always so, so, so good for Icon SBC investments. It's always seeming to be the Brazilians and uh, the Spanish players that are in forms for the Icon SBCs that always go up four to 5,000 coins in price. Not extinct, nothing crazy, but they do go up in value. So if you do have some spare change, I would probably try to pick up one of him at 13, 14K. You can't go wrong there. Just stack one of your club. Forget about it. This guy, not looking at this dude at all. Um, and then now, boys, we move on to the fun stuff. This is the starting 11. Now we get to talk about things. So the goalie, uh, starting with the goalie spot, I'm not really too interested in him. Although he does have a nice card, the, the only investing potential there is there um, is just for a player of the month that could be French in the prem. But So that's why I want to go back really quickly and speak on on uh on this guy martinez there's a potential that this guy rises um due to the fact that there's probably a limited amount of argentina informs that are discard so if you pick him up for discard i think at that point it's no risk and he could rise a little bit in the hype of uh player of the month as a lot of the time a lot of players get hyped up for player of the month based on the nation of the the lead nominees right so aguero is looking right now like he's the lead nominee this month so you could see that probably discard argent argentina players who have who have informs that are basically selling for the quick sell value might jump up a little bit in price i don't know it's just something that i think is possible so moving on uh more into the starting 11 this alex tellez card 
looks absolutely amazing. I'm so looking to invest in this card. I think we're talking prices, like what price would I invest in this card at? I think 40 to 45,000. If he ever drops in that range, that's gotta be a buy. He has hype for a winter upgrade. I believe he's getting a plus one. So he should go to an 86 rated with a winter upgrade. And I mean, that card is just unbelievable. Aside from the two star weak foot, um, the work rates are decent. They're not amazing, but they're decent. It's just a really good card. You look at the in-game stats, 86 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, all that stuff, man. The only thing that's not good about his card is the finishing and the strength. Those two are the weak points of the card, but investment-wise, I really like that card this week. I'm going to be looking out for that. Matt's Hummels, I'm not looking at it at all as an investment. Nobody uses Matt's Hummels, especially because Boateng got an inform the week before. So a ton of people are using Boateng, and there's no way that people are going to substitute Boateng with Matt Hummels. It's just not happening. Um, this guy is a beast. Uh, absolute monster playing in the prem Nathan Ake 81 pace 86 defending 83 physical looks to be an absolute beast boys I think this guy could be a really good investment it's just about figuring out when's the buy time on this and I'm thinking the buy time for this team of the week is going to be either Saturday or Monday or Tuesday I don't know yet when it's going to be so I would just say to you guys who want to invest in the team of the week leave it as long as possible right always be greedy let them drop down more don't be like on your edge of the seat to go buy these players just wait relax you guys will be all right and they will drop to a price that you want to but i think nathan ake is a card that you guys really want to look at right he he provides decent links the club is not great for links dutch is okay for links but he's just playing in the prem man and any center back that has over 80 pace over 84 defending and over 80 physical in the prem is going to be a monster he's got 86 strength so i think that card is a really good card if you look at the comparison to azpilicueta you know aspi has got a pretty similar card stat wise although the nation and uh, club are better for links it's still pretty similar now this Mkhitaryan card has a position change but he's not actually in packs right now um so that's just something that you also want to keep your 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 eye on he's not in packs because he's also a once the watch card and all the otws who had informs this week were only available to get via um team of the week pack so guys go get the once the watch if you want batch y, if you want Mkhitaryan, if you want salah if you want Walcott, please go get the ones to watch cards, boys, because there's no point buying the inform. You're going to overpay big time, and then you don't even have to live item. So if he plays well, you're not going to be able to get the new inform if he does get one. You have the OTW. Aaron Ramsey is a card I'm really looking at um, just because he's a BPL center mid that looks average at best, but he is a BPL center mid, and these guys always are selling a little bit. I would say he's going to drop down pretty low because of Aaron Moy being like 30K when he had his 82, and Aaron Moy was a beast. I think this is probably going to drop into the 30s, and that's probably the buy time for Aaron Ramsey. Uh, moving on, Thalvin. Thalvin, this card looks insane, and I think with one more inform, this card's going to be a beast. He had like four informs last year, um, so definitely looking at this card. Not looking at it to invest yet, but definitely looking at it. Salah is not a card that uh, really you need to be investing in, um, in my opinion. He's got the ones to watch, so if you want to invest, get the ones to watch is what I would say um, for sure. He got a huge upgrade. They gave him a big, big plus on this card. I think they gave him plus three, which is insane. So that's a card that I'm also looking at, uh, but not really that seriously. Now, this guy is going to be a great Icon SBC investment. I think you pick this guy up for 18,000 coins, maybe snipes, bids, whatever it needs to be, and you're chilling, man. Buy as many as you can for 18,000 coins. I bet at some point this year, because of an Icon SBC, he probably will fly up in price. I can totally see it happening. So make sure you get your hands on that. And then really quickly, we're looking at the front two. Iguain is not a card that I'm totally looking at in terms of investing in, but the thing is, his first inform has been selling at 300, so if he drops down to like 330, 340, 350, I think you gotta buy it. I think that's just too low for Iguain. Um, Iguain's been getting less informs this year than last year, so I think his informs hold a higher value just because not all the owners are always scared about a new inform, so that's something I'm also looking at. And Batchuai, guys, buy the ones to watch. Batchuai is gonna have a monster season at Dortmund, I think. Um, so he could potentially have more informs coming on the way. So you want to get the live item, which is the ones to watch card because it is on the market. Um, and yeah, so overall guys, pretty good team of the week. Uh, very happy with it. And that's why I've made this video. I probably will be making more of these team of the week investment videos in the future. Looking at a time to buy these players, I would probably say it's either going to be Saturday morning, uh, and then probably maybe Monday afternoon, Tuesday. That's probably where I would look at buying the team of the week if you do want to invest in it. But just keep in mind that Lunar New Year is around the corner, which is going to take coins off the market. So I don't know if you need to invest in this team of the week necessarily. You could wait it out until Lunar, but then you already know exactly from watching this video exactly who you need to get on and for what reasons. Now the discard informs, you guys can just pick those up, put them in your club, especially the 84 rateds, because there could be new SBCs around Lunar New Year. So I'll go into that event as well getting your 84 rated informs that are the cheapest, getting the 81 rated informs that are the cheapest, just getting ready for that event. It's always good to have some SPC investments uh, for big time events. So 
thank you boys for watching today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the content. A lot of videos to come uh, in the next few days. If you're not following Trading to 100K, go follow it because now we're trading to 250K. We hit 100K in 10 episodes, about three hours of trading time total. So really stoked about that. Really stoked about that series. So thank you boys for watching today. I will see you all soon. Peace.